Welcome back. We haven't done a studio update tour, uh, I don't think, since Andrew Masters was here a few years ago. A few years ago, I think that was, yeah. Wow. Um, which was an awesome experience. He's an awesome guy. Love him. Dear friend. Um, so, not a lot of equipment has changed, but the control room and the tracking rooms have definitely changed. So, let's do a studio tour. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going handheld today because it's just me. So, let's start with the vocal booth. So, here is, it's more of a vocal room, um, but all treated, clouds, treatment on the walls, all that. So it's pretty dead over here. And uh, it's just a great amount of space for, of course, a vocalist, but also like tracking acoustic guitar, um, if we need like space for guitar amps, anything like that. But um, just some nice little touches in the corner. We've got a P16 mixer, uh, Latch Lake, big old stand with the Warm Audio WA8000 on there. And uh, I do have this side cart because I, um, I sing for a website called Songfinch. So if you ever need a custom song um, written for somebody as a gift, hit me up. But anyways, typically when a vocalist is in here, I have the screen turned off and this moved out. Um, but yeah, nice little vocal area. I've got a little desk there. Um, and then here's a big old workbench for soldering, um, changing guitar strings, things of that nature. So the kitchen, the Jura coffee maker, so on and so forth. Yeah, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to all this in a second. How about the piano booth, piano room? We've had this beautiful Baldwin for a couple of years and I just recently was able to acquire this gorgeous five and a half foot Yamaha G2, baby grand. It's beautiful. It's a blessing to have instruments like this. Um, we got the Hammer 88, an old Yamaha synth. Of course, big old cloud above, prime acoustic all the way around. Got a prime acoustic go trap over there with the P16 and some Audio Technicas. Shall we move on? How about drum world? So, another big cloud, prime acoustic all around um, for all the little things. We're still doing all, of course, Mogami Gold, XLR, mic line, instrument line, mic wall, not much of that has changed. Um, recently did implement um, some cable routing, patch based systems and all that. We've got a Switchcraft XLR here and that's all DB25 out to the control room. But yeah, the drum kit. Got a slew of mics on there right now. Um, V-Kick, Warm Audio WA44 on the outside. There's a MD441 on the snare, uh, 545 on the hi-hat, DM20s on the 10 and 12 toms, 441 on the floor, SR25s overhead, and a little side station if I'm here tracking by myself. Zildjian's all the way around, Ludwig Black Beauty with the little snare weight option there. DW Collectors, my number one go-to's. Uh, remote controlled sound on the toms, top and bottom. Controlled sound black dot on the snare. Power stroke three on the kick, coded. Some other P16s, more Audio Technicas. My first drum kit, my Yamahas. Some extra Zildjians, more cymbals, more prime acoustic. Um, 
couple more stands and mics over here. We got a Vanguard V44S stereo FET condenser. Great utility mic for many reasons, many applications. And then the big boy, AEA R88A. That is on a Latch Lake stand as well. And I will say, these ultimate support mic stands are fine, but they are nothing compared to a Latch Lake. Uh, big price difference, but I've had six of these ultimate support stands break. And it's not like they're being toured with or anything. I'm not trying to dis support ultimate support, but Latch Lake is the way to go long term. Um, yeah, so, oh, and there's a 7B under the snare. Yeah. Shall we? To the control room. So, for many years I had basically the console right there. It was long ways, or I guess wide ways, is that a thing? And I uh, finally did some measurements and calculated and went for it. The proper ratio room layout, long ways. Um, some guitars, my telly, Les Paul, Recording King Resonator, J45 Custom Breedlove, the Getty Lee Jazz Bass. The White Falcon. You know, nice little lounging area. Nice little lounging area. So, of course, still using my ride or die Adam S3Hs. I love these speakers. They are on Sound Anchors 80J2s, I believe. Um, got these prime acoustic go traps, soaking up some of the low end information, just kind of taming it a little. The Argosy Dual 15, Herman Miller Aeron chair. There's another one over there. You'll notice there's literally no equipment in the bays of the Argosy, but I got a plan coming. I'm gonna change a few things up, it's hopefully sooner than later, but yeah. Just a Samsung monitor, the Grace M905 remote, and onto the Credenza rack. I'm still running the Mac Pro rack, 2019, 192 gigs of RAM. We got terabytes and terabytes in there, internal storage. Um, yeah, the HDX, Pro Tools HDX card in there. Love it. Full HD rig, HDX rig. So still with the Avid Matrix Studio. Love it. Um, down there's the Grace M905 digital. We got some heavy hitters with the power. The Furman, uh, what is that? F1500 UPS. It's a voltage regulator and a UPS backup. So keeps me safe if there's any power irregulation or outages. Oh yeah, the money tree, the Japanese money tree. It used to be like five inches tall. Now it's getting up to five feet tall. Anyways, back over here, the Furman P800, uh, P1800 AR. It's another voltage regulator. Uh, most of the analog gear is running to that before it goes down to the big boy down there. Um, some patching, just for ease of use. Left to right, still 24 channels of Audient preamps. Really like them, they're great. Uh, along with the plans of a new console, I've got some, um, some preamp desires, wants and desires and goals to, to up the game. And they may or may not be all manly, but we'll see. But yeah, I got the manly core. That's also ride or die piece of gear. Vocals, huge sounding bass guitar, incredible sounding acoustic guitar. 
don't even use it on drums that much. Uh, I could sometimes on snare. Um, yeah. Kemper, uh, rack tuner, headphone amp, and the P16 um, module. I will likely do kind of a rundown of a routing with all of this in another video, if I remember to do that. So, anywho, little Rupert Neve DI down there, patch that in for bass guitar. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this microphone. It was like $20 on Amazon and it has an SPL level of like 35. It can't handle anything, but it looks kind of neat. Yeah, some odds and ends, pencils, markers, picks, capos, doodads, my personal in-ears. Yeah, but really, really liking the room like this. Um, oh yeah, a diffuser, of course, stratus clouds, DIY clouds, scatter blocks. Yeah, probably missing stuff, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update. Drop a line, ask questions, like and subscribe. Um, pretty sure I missed details. Who knows? But, um, yeah. Hope you're all well. Thanks for watching.